Uh, I'm going to say that again because I'm not sure if it came through, but hello everybody, Clive at 5 here, bringing you part 8 of the Fez Guide. Let's see here. No, part 9. This would be part 9 of Fez Guide. And we're going to check out the um, graveyard area as well as finish up the uh, the cabin, the forest area, I guess you could call it. Which is up here above this stump. Let's check that stuff out. Sorry, I'm in the background pulling up my notes because I know I'm going to forget something. Or, once again, as a result of me not replacing my batteries, I'll get to one of those tuning fork things and be completely clueless, clueless as to what I'm actually supposed to enter. But, you know, that's just day-to-day -day life in... Uh, or day-to-day -day occurrence in the life of a crappy video game playthrough maker. <laughs> But you know, if you wanted a high quality uh, playthrough, you wouldn't be coming to me, you'd be going to some uh, pro walkthrough thing. <laughs> I don't know. So let's start by going through this locked door. We're almost out of keys here, but I think we're almost actually out of uh, places with locked doors, so that's good news. Oh yes, oh yes. This is uh, a little tricky, this part. You'll see in a second what I mean by that. So these platforms, they begin to crumble. Oh, so if you miss, if you don't jump directly on one of them, you pretty much have to start over. So you gotta act fast. Oh no! That was close. Alright, what do we have here? Hey, more treasure map. That's good news. Okay. I thought I might die there, but I th guess I made it. Is that everything in here? It is indeed everything in there. <laughs> okay, here we go. What on earth? Well, this is odd. It's just a room. Hmm. With only one door. Well, then I guess I'll go back out the way we came in. Wait, what? How did we get there? Magic, folks. The magic of video games. This is especially labyrinthine, labyrinth, lab it's, li it's maze-like, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm going in the right place at the right time. Oh, also, uh, I apologize about the lack of volume in the last, uh, game volume in the last few uh, parts of this walkthrough. I failed to do proper testing. Hey, there's all the there's the last part of the warp gate. That's good news. So I, I tested my mic volume, but of course I didn't test my game in volume. So super pro as usual. It wouldn't be a typical Climate 5 video if I didn't mess up with something.
So part of the trick in this level is watching where the rain, well, and when the lightning strikes, uh, where... You know what, maybe I want to go into that door. The one that was down there. Going over to the owls, I think. That is... I think we're ready for this, actually. So, part of the, uh... Owls creep me out. Oh, yeah! So part of talking to the owls... The, uh... Hear... See, hear the owls, see their effigy... Clue. That after you talk to all four owls, they will show up here, which is why I left this for the end. There is a big ol' owl up there. It's a little creepy how its head rotates to follow you, I have to say. I'm not sure if I actually have finished a complete sentence at all since I started this replay. So part of the trick is finding where the raindrops are hitting, and then landing on those otherwise invisible platforms. And hey, anti-cube! Woohoo! Creepy owl. Okay, we got that. Owls are so cute here, though. Can we talk to him again? No, that's a bummer. I feel as though I need to uh, hear some of those clues again. Because some of them are... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything yet. That's where I came from. There we go. I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, some of those clues are actually pretty important in later points in the game. Especially if you want to get uh, full completion. 209.4%. That's what I'm going for right now, 209.4. Just got to make sure I have all the bits. Man, there's so many bits in this part. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Just sort of crossing my fingers that it all works out. And maybe I've made it sound uh, a little bit too much like there's a right order and a wrong order. There isn't really a right order and a wrong order. There's... I'm just trying to make it as efficient as possible. Go in there. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Are you kidding me right now? Well. Cube 
ever. Also, watch when the lightning strikes. There are a few places where uh, ghosts will appear, but you can only see it when the lightning strikes. It's kind of cool. Like right there. Check out on this platform right here. Oh, ghostly fez. That was totally planned. Ah, uh, that one wasn't, though. <laughs> Fez's momentum isn't too great. <laughs> That's one of the big problems with the, the space stage. Is that the momentum is so difficult to work with. basically have to make sure you have like a running start for some of it. Alright. There's a secret passage down here that I'm curious about. Probably brings you back to somewhere totally unhelpful. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Uh, we need more treasure maps. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be back. That's probably the biggest technical problem with this game, I would say, is the... Uh, Momentum issue. Ah, there's another ghost up here. I thought I saw one anyway. Could have just been my imagination seeing things now.
Another map. Yeah, I definitely want to save all the treasure map stuff for a single part, because again, I think that'll be sort of the easiest to follow. So, though it might be a bit of spatial jumping around, I think it'll be the smartest way to go about things. Ooh, another ghost right there. Underneath the the tree thing. I'll go back to the warp gate for now. Can't quite make that, I guess. Stones like they can be rotated Maybe by grabbing them X and rotating with right trigger, left trigger. I'm just making an educated guess here. Yes, very astute thought. The main the big skull turns too. That's not creepy at all. Can I make it up there? Ooh, no. How do I get up there? Hmm. Can I step on this guy's eyes? No, I don't remember. Oh, just a simple rotation. You know, that makes sense. Another ghost on top of his head. Yeah, basically just, uh, I didn't think that this was too big of a puzzle, actually. Just, uh, facing all the, the skull heads forward. I pretty much did it. It looks like we have all 32 regular cubes and 25 of the other cubes. So yeah, let's take this back. Um, and you know what? That actually might be the 
end of this part. I'm still missing a few treasure maps. I'm trying to think of where those might be. Oh, you might be able to hear my cat squeaking. My cat doesn't meow, it squeaks. Which is kind of cute, I guess. Um, so... Oh, I guess, you know, maybe it, maybe we had to spend treasure maps to get treasure maps. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I should probably be a little bit better prepared, but, uh, you know what? Part, uh, part nine. No, oh, wait a minute. This was part nine. Part ten is going to be treasure map hunt. So, yeah, join me for that part. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, uh, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go back to main warp gate, which is where I've been heading off and ending all these missions. So, there. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. Join me for the next part. I'm super excited. You should be, too.